Ooh, you caught me looking at uh, chords. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I don't claim to be a musician, I just play the instruments. Mm-hmm. Welcome to How To Hexit episode 8. This morning, this morning sucks, dude. Blues, blues. It's blues, bruh. So what we're gonna do is play Minecraft and say, forget real life. Who has a real life anyways? Um, I do want to give a shout out and prepare much for this episode, actually. Zero preparation, but I do want to say hi to my nigga, Hayden. Dude, I, like, I missed a lot of messages from this guy in a row, and I started feeling bad about it. But he needs a shout out anyways, because he's been supporting me since... I think it was back in the How To Hardcore days, which was almost a month ago, people. Oh, by the way, by the way, everybody, I, I haven't brought this up on my channel. I can't believe it. We have 56 subscribers. Can you believe that? That's good. I don't know what to do for y'all. I mean, I, I want to celebrate, but I want it to be, like, good. I want it to be good for you guys, you know what I mean? I don't want to, this isn't just some one-way street where I get happy and you don't. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what you want. Say, like, hey, you know, you want to do an FAQ? I'll do FAQs for you. I got no damn problem with that. But, you know, you just got to tell me. Because I'm, I'm really not, I'm not too creative. I've put in some work on this here Hey House of Ours. And I think it's starting to look moderately decent. Oh, oh yeah, sure, sure. You know what, I'm not talking to an audience of 50 people right now. That's fine, just back up. Just back up. And I think that these windows are going to do us lots of favors as well. Um, the roof. Oh, I already did the roof. I forgot I'd already done the roof. I, I was planning on using a uh, seared stone. Oh, well, that was pretty convenient. And I just blocked it out. This stuff. I wanted to use this. I don't know if you can see that very well. But if I had made that into slabs, it would have looked like uh, some kind of a... Uh, what's the word I'm trying to say here? Hmm. <laughs> Come on, Dennis. Think, think, think. It would have looked like an actual roof. <laughs> what? I struggled to say that? <laughs> Anyways, but um, my goal now, I believe I'm going to go and get some sand. Actually, no, 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 no. We're going to make an excavator, which is a 3x3 three three digging tool. And maybe by the time I get down to the, uh, you know, the old homestead down here, this beeping will have stopped. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, alright. We're making the hammer, or we, we're making the thing. I'll be back. Okay, we got some explaining to do. So, first of all, that was not even close. That was not a truck. That was my father's alarm clock. It's 9 o'clock. <laughs> Why is it going off? Oh, yeah. And then I decided also to, uh, to say fuck it Ooh. to the, um, excavator mainly because I do not have two, like uh, metals I tried to make it out of gold I thought that would be dope I tried to make it out of paper we're not doing it it's not happening right now so I made a diamond shovel and we're just gonna live with it we're not even gonna enchant it because I'm level two <laughs> we need sand damn it that's what we need right now okay and that's what we're going to get wanna know why I like this hammer this is why I like it just gonna go through here really quickly, don't mind me. Just gonna make a railroad tunnel through the mountain. Let's make some other touches right quick. You dig, you dig. There we go. Uh, yeah, brighten it up. Brighten up this day. Oh, this is, this is cool, man. I love, dude, this, this terrain has done nothing but make me happy. Do you understand that? That doesn't ve happen very often. Normally the terrain's like sad and the same all the time. But not this time. Shit's different this time. It's gonna be different this time. Anyways, we're going through the mountain. Hey cutie pie, what you doing later? Hmm? What you doing later? You by yourself? Aw. Oh, no, you got some friends. It's okay. I got friends too. Maybe you and your friends can't hang out with me and my friends. How does that sound, girl? 
I like that dress you got on it. That, that looks good with your eyes. Ooh. Oh, there's more. Give me some more. I think that might be it. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, son. Gimme. Cool. I like finding diamonds, man. That color. It makes you happy. Ah. Air. Max normal. Dude, I love I love mod of Minecraft. The possibilities are endless. So, oh, wow, I don't need this much cobblestone. I'm going to ditch some of that, and I'm going to get about a stack of sand. I, I know that when you put s this sand into a Tinker's Contracts... Ooh. Have we been to that village yet? Hold on, I see one right over there, right? I'm not, not crazy. What's my zoom button? No, I don't... I, I forgot this doesn't have Optifine. That, I think we might go there really quickly. Okay, so the way that these sand blocks translate into the glass is one to one. So I'm, I'm just going to put a sand block in and, in and it turns into a, a one clear glass block. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted to happen. So now if I could find my tunnel back to the homestead, back to the place I want to be, we'd be set. But as you know, I'm retarded. I'm stupid. Oh wait, weren't we gonna go there? Yeah, let's go there. Oh snap, this is the place with the PBs. PBs on deck trying to kill your son. That wasn't a village at all. It was a polar bear. Uh, is that a seagull? This game or this mod pack adds a lot of unique animals. And I'm really liking the dynamic feel of nature in this in this mod pack. It doesn't feel the same as a normal kind of modded Minecraft. Oh, I'd kill you, but I don't have any bows, buddy. Next time. Next time. <laughs> so I need to make a lot of glass and I don't feel like automating my smeltery. So this is what I'm doing. <laughs> I've put a hopper on top, that's feeding the sand into the smeltery. And then I put a block next to my basin. Jump. It triggers the drain. <laughs> then I just wait for it to fill up. And then I right click. <laughs> I'm a cheap ass. If you speak too loudly, the surface tension will break. This is red hot molten glass. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, um, let me show you exactly what I've done with the place. It's not too much, but I think we're stepping, we're moving in a correct direction. We're going a place where it's pretty, and the sun shines every day, and the, the, the wind's just right. The wind is just right. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so I put some steps. Cool. Oh, nice. This is, this is nice. Put one here, too. Okay. And now I've put my glass up. I plan on adding some more detail as far as fence posts and that sort of thing go. I need to use glowstone for light because I want it to be clean looking. Um, and I want to use this seared stone, not for the entire floor, but kind of in a line across. And then, you know, maybe do like marble on this side and wood on this side or something. I don't want it to be all one one material, you dig? I want it to be a variety. So now, in order to make this seared stone, I'm dumping cobblestone into the same thing I was dumping the sand into to get the clear glass. Now, but now I need to drain 128 blocks worth of clear glass. <laughs> Which is just wow, wow. Okay, so we're going to make um we're going to make a kind of a jerry-rigged way to automate that thing, which is using a comparator and a repeater and a hopper. So I will be right back with you. I show you the way I do, okay? Okay. Okay, I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this for a very long time, but it's okay because our house is now elsewhere. We need to relight this, get some nether quartz so that I can create uh, the comparator that I need. Because unfortunately, at this point in time, I have zero. But uh, I am a little bit more well prepared this time now that I'm in the nether. I have diamond armor with protection on... Uh, pr Oh, 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 get out, get out. We need to leave right now, hold on. 
Let's assess the situation here. Sit rep. Oh, get wrecked. Okay. I just need your courts. That's all I need. I'm not here for your life. I don't want your family or your wife. I want your courts. Ooh. Give me. Oh yeah, I want. Mm, yeah, I want some glowstone as well. Hopefully they don't get pissed when I try and take these things. But I will take them. They're mine. I have a rightful, rightful spot. Let's see. I'm just hoping I don't run into one of the giants. There's some. One of the giant heat scar spiders. They're, they're horrible to fight. I really. Ooh, what the fuck, dude? Yo, get wrecked. They're, thank you, thank you. This is a hammer. This isn't some baby toy. There we go. Another thing this mod adds to the nether is a, a, a creature called an imp. It's just a nether creeper. Who needs nether creepers? Look, take that shit out, okay? I don't need a nether creeper. Who decided that was a good idea? You dumb... Ugh. Uh... Mmm. Mmm. I don't see any uh, low-hanging fruit here as far as glowstone goes. That just seems sketchy. It might be my best option though, but it's over a huge pool of lava. What isn't in the nether though? What isn't? Whoa, I just broke one block. Okay, let's go up. All of this is gonna fall. All of it's gonna fall straight into the freaking Supposed to be vaguely good at this, Dennis. Come on, do your job. There we go. Boom, boom. All right, yeah. That's how you protect your glowstone. You gotta protect your investments, kids, and then be able to pick it up. Oh, I'm so scared. That's enough. Where's my way back down? This is it. Boom, all gone. Bye-bye, guys. See you next time. I'm going to ruin this living metal pickaxe, but it's okay. It's what it was there for. It was, just, it was for us to use, and we did it. You, you, go away. Okay, we're going to go back to the crib, and I will build these. <clears throat> I will build these things, <laughs> and I'll show you the results. Okay, so we want the two torch side facing that. And then we want this repeater. I really don't know what I'm doing, so we're just going to pretend that I do know what I'm doing. Go up here. Ah, uh, yes, and then I need to have this block here. Let's see if this works. So, hypothetically, what should happen is, when I push this, it should drain into here. When it fills up, it should go into the hopper. The hopper should emit a signal. The signal will go through this, be um, amplified by the repeater, and continue up to here and trigger its drain once more. So, let's see. Please do it, please do it. I will be so happy. Ooh, I'll be so happy. Okay, all right, so we failed that time, but I think I know what the problem is. Let's go this way with it. Dude, oh, I hate, I hate my inventory. Oh, it hurts. There we go. I know you need to be there, but we'll put you back. Don't you worry. Okay. Comparator. Comparator. There you are. I need you. Go like this. Repeater. Maybe? I really don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
It's not quite doing what I want it to do. I think the signal should turn off, right? Man, do it. Yo, do it. Do it, yo. I think I killed the signal when I put this block here. Hmm. It's not what I want. <laughs> Not what I want at all. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure this out off camera. Be right back. Okay, so maybe I figured it out now. Maybe. So I, I believe what happened was the item or the the hopper emits, <laughs> the hopper emits a signal as long as there is an item in it. So uh, I, I would have this item in the, the hopper, it wouldn't go anywhere, and the signal would stay on, wouldn't cause any functionality. So let's try this again. See, so what I should do by pushing it the first time is just set it on a tipping point, and it should continue doing itself. <laughs> doing itself. Like that. But what's that all about? Why did that happen? Hmm. Hmm, I don't know what toggling any of these things actually does, so I'm just kind of right-clicking on stuff. <laughs> huh, it seems like it, it um, triggers the signal twice, which is a bit weird. Let me try putting a repeater right next to the thing. We're here at our local lava pool. Um, we failed. That automation, uh, it works with ingots. The problem I'm having is when I put the casting basin next to the drain instead of, um, instead of you know the ingot cast, it cuts off uh, after having dispensed an amount of liquid equal to that which would be required by an ingot cast. So I'm assuming there's some kind of built-in hard coding and a tinker's construct that makes that you know happen, and I. Uh, not, I don't just dislike redstone. I loathe redstone. It's it's cryptic. It's annoying. It, uh, sure, it has its, its its purposes for existing, but I cannot think of them genuinely. What? I don't. What? Wait. You did what? Why are my lava buckets still full? Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get this seared stone the boring way. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, boys and girls. I really, really am. Okay, I'm gonna take a break from house building. Uh, I think my next goal I'm gonna find a naga, and we're gonna whoop his ass. You dig? Are you along with me on this one? I think uh, I'm just gonna bring this with me, and I will cook meat as I go. Cause I'm tired of building. This is too passive. This is Hexit. We're trying to go kill shit. So uh, I will meet you in the Twilight Forest once I've kind of worked my way into a Naga Zone. Guys, it's another one of those things. Uh, I might actually look up what this is before I go into it. So I'm gonna. I, <laughs> duh. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like there is any information on this particular phenomena. So in I go. Let's see if it's the same as last time. If it is, I'm going to try and break. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. So this is... A never-ending staircase. Hmm. I wonder if I'm no longer allowed out. It appears that might be the case. Oh, no, no, I can go back. What is this? 
We need to talk. I'm sorry, this is weird to me. And I can't get out this side. I should have brought... I should have just opened the fucking door. I, th I think I've, s I've squandered my chances once again. Man, and this mythical, beautiful door, and I keep screwing it up. At least I can go home. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna continue west. Okay, I believe this to be the courtyard of a naga, if I can view the... Yes. Okay, you'll know it. These things spawn in roughly 80 by 80 sections. They clear the forest around them. And in the center there is a mob spawner that when I get close enough will spawn an enormous snake-like creature called a naga. Uh, I actually am going to leave this episode here. I will record another episode today and I will fight this naga today, but I do have to go make my car payment as well. Being an adult, right? Yo, that's just weak. That's just weak. And plus, who doesn't like a good cliffhanger? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to save this here. Thank you for watching my series. Thank you for watching my episode. And I do a pretty... Hey, and if you can figure out how to make that block thing work, please let me know in the bottom. I need to automate block per, uh, block processing. So if you're a smart interveller... Smart... <laughs> feller. <laughs> do let me know. I'd be more than happy to implement your solution. All right. Thank you for watching once again. Thank you for subscribing. Have a good day. This is Seacrest, and I'm out. I'm out of this.